Let's see how we can call a function with delay. So this is a timeline. You call the function here, but the effects are going to take place here in the future. What? For example, your character dies here, but the end screen should appear here. Two seconds later, for example. We are going to be able to do something like that with this video. I already created this game object and assigned to it a default script. I created a script and assigned to this game object. This script is this one. And here we are going to define our function and call it with a delay. So what we're going to need to solve this problem? Uh, we need to know the seconds of the delay, the time. For that, we can define a float variable, public float and delay time equals uh, two seconds. Is that right? As I define this variable as public, uh, it appears in the inspector and you can write here the time you want. I'm going to leave it in two. Next, we're going to define a function void. Uh, let's call it my function. Simple enough. And inside, let's print a message in the console so we know that that function has been executed. Now, we have several ways to call a function with a delay, but we're going to use a method called invoke because it's really simple to, to use it. So let's write invoke. And inside the parentheses, we need to pass two parameters. The first one, the name of the function. So we copy this name and in quotations, we paste that name. We need to make sure that this name is exactly the same name as the name of the function we want to call. And the second parameter, parameter. <laughs> oh, English is so hard. <clears throat> the second parameter is the time. So we copy this variable and paste it here. And that's it. We save the changes. Let's open the console. Let's hit play. Now, two seconds later, the function is called. So there is not much more to add, really. Um, just a little, a little something. Be careful where you call this function. For example, uh, let's copy this instruction and paste it inside update. I'm going to comment this instruction and hit play and see what happens. So we have that delay the two seconds delay. But if you invoke a function inside an update, you're going to be calling that functions many, many times. Maybe you don't want to do that. I'll give you a little trick to call the function inside an update in case you need to do that. So let's define a Boolean variable. Um, invoke equals false, for example. A Boolean variable. Define an if statement using that variable. If not invoke, then invoke. But inside this statement, we make invoked equals true. So using something like this, you are going to invoke the function just one more time. The first time you get into this uh, if statement. Let's test. The function is called just one time. And so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.